Now's the moment of truth, guys. I'm about to take this band off. All right. Oh my gosh, the anxiety, the anxiety. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something about this yeah. girl, man. From around my way. Well, well, well. Ever try to hold back your feelings? Yeah. Put it just for yeah. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Deja the Dun. If you are new here, and if you are new here, are you subscribed? If you are not subscribed, please make sure you go ahead and do so. And, and if you are not new here, then welcome back, baby. Do y'all see something different? <laughs> you can go bust down middle part of side. You can go bob, or you can go blonde. Y'all, your girl is blonde, and I mean like blonde, blonde. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, Jesus. I can't believe it. Guys, like, I cannot believe I did this. Like, this is for my 28th birthday, which is coming up very, very soon. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to give you guys birthday material because your girl's getting older and it is time for me to kind of jump out and kind of think outside the box. And me going blonde is something that is, I don't know. I'm still trying to feel it. Like, I feel myself, but I don't feel like it's feeling me yet. I don't know, like, I love it. I love it, I think it looks good, it's nice and laid, but I'm just so not used to blonde hair, so it's just like a big shock to me. If you watch my previous video, then you'll know that I customized this wig myself. It came pure 613 blonde, and I added the roots myself. First of all, it's giving Scalpiana. But yeah, guys, if you wanna see how I installed this wig for the first time, when I tell you it was the most stressful thing I've ever been through. First of all, I don't do frontals. Second of all, I don't do blonde. So, if you're ready to see this process, and bear with me guys, cause I'm not a professional. So if you guys have any, 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 any advice to give to me, please, please leave it in the comments because I was, huh, uh, zero out of 10. Like I wish I could keep this into my birthday, but baby, I got work in the morning. So without further ado, let's see how I installed this baby. Bye. What's up, what's up, what's up guys? So welcome back to my channel and here is where we're going to install this wig guys. Oh my gosh, I just wanted to let y'all know that the anxiety was there. Like, from start to finish, I was messing up. But since I was going to take this wig off right after, because like I said, I have work in the morning, I just went ahead and took my hair and I just put it into two braids in the back. And that kept the front pretty flat, so I really appreciated doing this. So when I braided the hair, I just kind of tied it up into like a bun in the back. Now I'm gonna take some alcohol and I'm going to rub it cause I know my forehead was pretty oily. So I'm gonna clean my forehead of any oils and things that might be left like edge control, gel or whatever may be on there. And here's the stocking cap I used. I got it from Amazon. It will be in my storefront, which I would link in my bio. And y'all, oh, I tell you, this thing was tight. And I was struggling. I was on a big struggle bus with this and I was trying to get my hair back. Guys, be better than me. Slick your edges back. And then, like, when it came to, like, where to cut the hole, like, I'm just doing what the YouTube and TikTok girlies be doing, so I really didn't know what I was doing. But all I know is that these part on my ears hurt it so bad. Like, it was getting caught on all my earrings and stuff. But I take the even hairspray and I'm going to try to, well, this is a big attempt slash fail. I was trying to make sure that I glued the cap onto my hair, but I think, I think I used too much guys because I was like, why is this happening to me? Like I was not knowing if it was working. Then y'all, the girl has the audacity to put <laughs> lace melting spray on as well. Like. I felt like that was not the move and it was running all down but I take my wig band and I put it on and I think I let it sit for about 10 minutes I want to say but it was hurting but yeah I wasn't say yep 10 minutes so I'll be right back boom so we are back and the hair is dry but y'all I'm so used to wig caps so I did not see how thin this stocking cap was and when I tell you the stocking cap was melted into my skin like I could not get it off like look at the struggle that I was going through like I had glue fumes in my eyes now this thing's under my nose caught up on my piercings my ear is 
killing me. Like, my ear is borderline purple at this point. And I was like, bruh, I don't know how people do this. Like, look at this. That hurts so bad. It was like a little string pulling. Oh my gosh, y'all. Please, please be better than me. I need tips. Mind you guys, I don't do frontals like that. So, please bear with me. Do you guys see all that excess lace? Oh my gosh, not even lace. All that excess stocking. I tried to take this um little razor and like shave it down, but guys, when I tell you, it was stuck like glue. I was struggling so much, and I want you guys to see a close up on how I was trying not to cut off my hairline. Cause you see my hairline's a little weird, but y'all, I was struggling so bad. It's not even funny, it's not even funny. Eventually, I did end up fixing it, but I kind of messed it up because I cut too far down. But I used this cream foundation from the Beauty Spot store in the Beauty Blender, and I was trying to um, make a ball cap. But y'all, it was really irritating me because like the product wasn't getting on like I needed it to. Like you can see, it's kind of trying to get ball cap, but also like something was missing. So I do go in with my Fenty Beauty powder and I put it on top, and you can see it's a lot more pigmented. That doesn't match 100% now, but I think it was doing this do, and it was a lot quicker, so I appreciated that. All right, here's the star of the show. Uh, that would be me, of course, not the wig. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on. Um, the frontal was really nice. Like, I really feel like it didn't need a lot of customization. But I did go in and pluck it just a little bit because my hairline was a little weird. And I wanted to pull the wig forward more. So I needed to, like, push the hairline back. So I was trying to do, like, a semi-widow peak. But, y'all, I was just going crazy. I had, mwah, no direction. Because what was I doing? But when I would do it in sections, I would go ahead and like comb the hair out. And I love seeing like how much I comb out after I pluck. I don't know why. But as you can see, look at that hairline, guys. Like it was a movement by itself, but I just had to thin it out just a little bit. I was really trying to go for that widow's peak effect, but it was like a slight widow's peak. You can kind of see like the little uh scooch. But now I'm going in and I'm taking the ear tabs off because the hair was going over my ears. And you want to make sure that the hair fits right around your ear um, comfortably like that. Well, at least that's what the girl needs to be saying. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'll be right back. Actually, ooh, am I taking you guys with me to show you? Yes, I am. So, yeah, I cut this side off. And I didn't have to cut too much off of that side because I feel like I put on the wig unevenly, guys. And then I go ahead and do the same thing and start plucking the other side of the wig. And, yo, tired. And it's wrong, I know. But again, I'm... Here is where I up. So, we got the hair, and I don't know what I thought I was doing putting this spray on, but when I sprayed this even spray on, my cap started coming off, so I had to hurry up and push the wig down, y'all. I didn't even get time to breathe until I put that wig down. Like, what? And I kept, I was like, why is it lifting up? Why is it lifting up? Because, baby, you're not doing it right. So, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I wanted to use, like, actual lace glue, but I just know I did not have the time nor the um, patience to take it off. But here is me putting the band on because I had to hurry up and put that on ASAP, no Rocky. And this is just the first time I put the band on and y'all, the relief I felt was amazing. Ugh, look at that. And my hair was stuck like glue. I knew it was time that I had to take the lace off. And cutting this lace was so scary because the hair can look so laid with all that lace. But as soon as you start cutting that lace, I was like, oh, Jesus. Please be a fence because, oh my gosh, please. So I take my handy dandy scissors and I try to cut in like a little zigzag, but that wasn't going to work. So I did cut sections. I think this is the only thing that I did correctly in this video. And here we go. Try to cut it off. I did switch back to my little razor to try to get closer, but guys, I need y'all to see how much lace is still on that wig. Like, please, why is there lace all on my forehead? One fourth of my forehead is covered in lace, please. A few moments later. Once I finally did get it all off, I did go back in with the even lace melting spray. And I don't know why I just expected this to be a miracle and that all my problems would be solved and that the lace would disappear, but it did not. Baby, you need to color it. But it didn't look too bad, but it was dripping all on me. And I put the band back on and I set it 
for another 10 minutes, I believe. And then I just went to do my do. And then I'm going to come back. I'm scared to take the band off. The wig might come off with the band, to be honest. Because, child, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I really... I've been trying my best. I've been trying my best. But, like, y'all... This wig is 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 doing this big one, as in I'm scared. But y'all, y'all see the freaking length, the freaking look at that. Like my mom was so scared before I toned this hair. She was like, "Are you gonna wear it that yellow?" I'm like, "Lady, I'm not crazy. I'm I'm not crazy." Also, if you haven't seen how I toned this wig and got my dark roots, make sure y'all check out my video. It should be right here or right here. I don't know which way it's gonna be, but it's gonna be over there. But guys, oh, my anxiety. It's through the roof. But we're not done. We gotta blunt these ends out cause baby, this is scraggly. I don't like that. So let me give you a few deets on the wig. This is a 613 wig that I get from Amazon. And I'm gonna link this wig in my bio. So make sure you guys check out my Amazon storefront and the wig will be linked there. <laughs> Honestly, I think I spent less than $200 on this wig. And like I said, it's 30 inches. It's 180 density, y'all. It is full. It is so full. Like. It's really giving like, like, I'm a barb. It flat irons like a dream. It feels so good and it took color so well. Like, I'm so impressed. And look at, look at that, Scalpiana, baby, Scalpiana. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend out my ends, like I said. So I'm just bringing all my hair to the front. And please, if you have actual hair scissors, be better than me. Don't be like me. Because I also need to frame my face a little bit because I do need some layers in here. Because she's giving one length, which I don't mind. But yeah, she needs a little bit of layers. I love a nice blunt and y'all, it gets full, baby, it gets full. All right, so I just wanna show you guys how I'm going to quickly layer the front of my hair. And like I said, be better than me and don't use no kitchen scissors, use real scissors. But I already have a little bit of face framing in the front. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to angle. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. This side is always so hard for me because I can't cut correctly. But I'm just going to try to do the same thing and cut and bring it down as I'm cutting. Ugh. Lord, I think I cut too much off. But she's so cute, y'all. Oh my God. Now is the moment of truth, guys. I'm about to take this band off. All right. Oh my gosh, the anxiety, the anxiety. One, two, three. Is the wig gonna still be there? I'll say. Okay, it's, it's on. It's on. I should have mentioned that this is also my first time really like doing a frontal as well. And I really did not want to do baby hairs at all because I feel like baby hairs are just gonna cover up my imperfections. But huh, I don't know. I don't know what it's giving y'all, but y'all can see it's kind of light. Let me show y'all. Y'all see, it's like really light right there. And then my edges are coming out right there, which I don't know, I could just cut that part off. Like, that ain't about nothing, but like, how do I, how do I fix that? I don't like that. Sorry, y'all, I'm stressed, but I'm gonna try to get this powder, this powder, and I'm gonna press it up against my head with this clip. Okay. Okay. <gasps> it's disappearing, y'all. Oh, that's how they, <gasps> that is how you do it. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just did my makeup to see if I really like the look in its entirety. And I got these little clippies from um, Marshalls. Aren't they so cute? They're so cute, but I'm going to take them out because I was just using it to hold my hair back. And I like that they leave no line of demarcation. I like the little hair behind the ear action. It's one of my favorite go-tos. It's giving chillaxed and stuff. So I think for my first like 613 blonde install, like I think I did a pretty good job. 
I know there's some parts that I want to fix like I need to start working on like doing the edges and also what I think I'm gonna have to do and this is something that I'm okay with doing I promise you I'm okay anything that's gonna make this look better but I think I'm gonna like shave my hair out because my sides come out a little bit like that so I think if I shave it down it's gonna look a lot better because I don't like that you can see the black but I think I melted this pretty good y'all like I give me a 10 out of 10 like I think this is the end of the video guys if you like this look this is my birthday hair so you guys will be seeing it in my next vlogs but I just wanted to show you guys how I actually installed it now I have time to play around with it and stuff so I'm so excited so if you're ready for the birthday material and also like the prep and stuff make sure you keep watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe I love you guys so much y'all the stress was worth it I get the stress was worth it guys it was worth it guys yeah if you like this video make sure you like comment subscribe thank you very much for watching love you guys bye